Hi, I'm Sandy from the Home Depot Rental Center. When your project calls for a compact and easy to use trencher, we recommend the Easy Trench Ground Saw. It's the perfect choice to install water lines, irrigation, gas lines, drainage, root pruning, and silt fences. The ground saw will cut a neat and clean two and a half inch wide trench up to 13 inches deep. Now, before you get started, as with the safe operation of any power equipment, be sure you're wearing the proper safety gear. Wear safety glasses or a face shield, safety shoes, hearing protection, and gloves while you're operating the ground saw. In some situations, a safety helmet may be recommended. Do not wear loose-fitting clothing or anything that could become caught in the unit during use. For more information, always read and understand all safety and operational procedures in the manual before operating the machine. This tool is designed to cut in soil only. Never attempt to cut through rock, asphalt, or concrete. Keep both hands on the controls and away from moving parts while operating. And be sure to maintain a firm footing during use. Never leave the tool running when unattended and be sure to turn it off when not in use. Before you get started, check the area for objects that could be hazardous while operating, such as yard tools, rocks, hoses, or branches. Call 811 before digging and identify the location of any underground cables, wires, and pipes. To start the ground saw, turn the engine on. Open the fuel valve and move the choke to the closed position. Gently pull the engine cord to start the engine. Once the engine has started, move the choke to the open position. Grab the handlebars firmly and fully squeeze the throttle trigger. While engaging the throttle trigger, turn the red depth adjustment lever clockwise to lower the blade to the desired depth. With your arms straight, lean back and pull the machine backwards. Use your legs and body weight to help pull the machine in the desired path to cut the trench. Always be safe as you work your project. If you strike something, stop immediately. Turn the machine off and identify what is in the ground. Objects such as rocks or concrete need to be removed before continuing. Never try to remove any lodged object while the machine is on. When finished, release the throttle and allow the blade to stop. Raise the blade by turning the crank counterclockwise. Turn the engine switch off and then close the fuel valve. Allow the unit to completely cool before cleaning or transporting the machine. The muffler and engine will get hot enough to cause serious burns. Wipe off excess mud or dirt and use a hose to clean the blade. Avoid spraying water into or onto the engine muffler, carburetor, and air cleaner areas. When you're ready to return the ground saw to the rental center, properly secure it in the upright position in your vehicle to avoid injury or damage. Visit your local Home Depot or homedepot.com rental to learn more about the best tools for your next project.